Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Welcome to My Time to Journal, an untrained person playing with lots of art supplies and having fun. Join me. All right, well, for whatever reason, this time I did turn my camera off, but it cut off. So I don't know if my memory is full, which could very well be. I have 15,000 pictures on this phone. Anyhow. I painted last night this background picture of the same kind of scenery in an abstract way that I've been painting. And have I said the? I haven't said anything because I was going to say this all in the voiceover, but now there's no voiceover. Now you get me. Bram Stroker, Dracula. Um, and instead of bats in the belfry, we have bats in the valley. So if he was in Yosemite, he would make a Transylvania castle which I got out of this magazine which I was complaining about yesterday or the day before how expensive they are I already bought it last year same price last year too apparently I was less enthralled about the prices of things last year I don't know but anyhow um I got it out of this abandoned places magazine and this is Bram Stroker's Castle, whatever, that was the article, so I cut that out. But this, in Yosemite, he would make this a birdhouse, just like his castle in Transylvania. And then we have attracting bats to the bat birdhouse, bat house, and he started keeping count of the bats. So, of course, we're only up to 13, but it's early in the fall, right, right. So, um, then I took... This was all done in black and a little bit of blue and green with acrylic. Just still trying to use up some old, old paints. And I just kind of last night made a rough, very rough half dome, trees. That was it. I wanted it to be moody, abstract, and oh yeah, moody. So then I came back in after I got the birds cut out and stamped. Um, one of them was a stamp from an old Halloween stamp kit that I had and still have here at the house because a lot of my Halloween stuff is down at the beach because I spend a good bit of October down at the beach which you'll see coming up um and then um so a lot of that stuff is down there but if I collect any over the year I'm keeping it in a drawer here called miscellaneous boo and that's where that was so I was able to stamp out some bats got some cut out here these came out of one of those ephemera books that I just showed you. One of those um, that I bought off of Amazon that you can, not that one, that you can get for pretty good reasonable prices. I think they're like $6.99 and they print them at your local Amazon factory. See, this was printed in Columbia in November of 2021. Um, but there's a lot of good ephemera in these things. And speaking of ephemera, this is a good time to talk since I messed up and now I have to fill a video. Um, that ephemera magazine has me thinking and so does the price of everything. And the repetition of the same supplies with all of us. I'm getting to the point where as lovely as they are, December Daily, all of those supplies that you can buy from Allie Edwards, which I get an Allie Edwards story kit every month. I rarely use it. It's getting to the point where I'm giving more of it away than I'm keeping. I just don't want my stuff to look like everybody else's. As beautiful as it all is, as real artists as they all are, I'm going a different direction. Um, I don't want... And Tim Holtz, too. Even though his stuff is amazing amazing i've been watching his saturday videos with his halloween launch through ranger and sizzix and some of the other places that he represents or represent him i i love it all and it's all amazing but i just don't want the same products that everybody else has call me weird call me whatever um not in the comments though <laughs> You'll hurt my feelings. But I just don't want my stuff look. i rather have stuff like this. I can use the stamps and create my own. I thought about getting a couple of the Sizzix 
folders or whatever they call it of Tim Holtz's things that it was like two weekends ago or yeah uh, last weekend was ideology all the little tiny things that he makes I love it all I just am heading a different direction in a journal still but in a different direction I want to make my own stuff I don't want mine to look like everybody else's so by buying some stamps but having this kind of stuff paints my Stabilo Woodies, which I absolutely love, uh, other paints, um, the products that help me make my own products are what I like, not to sell or anything, although <laughs> I'm kind of toying with selling printables, kinda, 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 just kind of bashing it around in the back of my head, but I don't like marketing myself at all. Um, I'm not on, Inst I am on Instagram very little though, because the algorithm is so screwed up. I could never, ever, 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 ever figure it out. Anyhow, okay. All of that to say, this makes me a lot happier than somebody else's product that my next door neighbor has the same thing. I strive to be different. I've been different my whole life. Might as well keep on going. But anyhow, so I came back in with my Stabilos. No, my Neo Color 2s. And exaggerated the blues and the greens because I was trying to get depth of black in this. And I think I'm. it's going to be hard to see, but you can see a little bit of the purples and the blues and the greens that I put in here. And just trying, trying to create more of a moody background for Bram Stoker to... Continue his bat count in his birdhouse that looks like Transylvania. That is fun. So we have one, two, three. Are there three days left in the month? I'm not sure. Anyhow, I know I have two more guys to talk about. And then I might do another one. What if I was back in Yosemite for Halloween? What would I do? Or maybe... I don't know, but I think, but I'm sorry, the camera, I think I just have too many pictures on here. I deleted a few things to get this video in. And our internet service is getting a little better. Um, yesterday's video was like five or six minutes and it took 20 to upload it. So that's not bad at all. Not ideal and not what we're paying for, but not bad for sure. It was taking like two and a half hours to do that before. So anyhow... I think I'm going to upload you, edit you and upload you, make a few more labels because I'm running out here of my labels for my journals. I know I need at least a few more and continue on with our luscious, luscious, what if Yosemite book. Next month, I might do a two journals. No, half of the month a journal and half of the month preparing for Halloween. We shall see. I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.